There we go. Hey, welcome everybody. Uh, thanks for joining me for this uh, little introduction on uh, our fourth target team of the day. And this one is about focus item and dynamic web content. Um, this time I do not have a guest with me because this is a for Tiger team that I love myself. So uh, I would like to pitch it to you. And um, for those who don't know me, my name is here, it's Eki Gumbel. I'm with a market or well, it's a Mordic audit agency in Germany. I'm also the project lead or the, the team lead for community in the Mordic project. Um, yeah, but today I really want to talk about focus items and dynamic web content and how we want to make that way, way better in Mordic. Here you go. Oh, stop. Here we don't go. Here we go now. Now, let me first uh, explain to you a little bit the concept of Tiger Teams because uh, that may be not familiar to everybody. So here's a little introduction to Tiger Teams first. Um, Tiger Teams, Tigers are agile, Tigers are aggressive, uh, Tigers are cute sometimes. Um, in our time, in, in our case, they are supposed to be most helpful to, to Mautic and to the Mautic product in this case, but also to the Mautic community. The point is that we do not look at the product as a whole. In, in this case, we don't say, say here's a team that is developing uh, encoding the product or here's a maintainer of a certain code bundle. This is really about the the user in the end. And um, this is achieved by having really small teams, like th three to five people who are really focusing on one certain topic or maybe two of Mordic. Um, they have a small niche where they need to be good. That, that means uh, they don't have to know all of Mordic. They don't even have to be experts in that niche. They will become it on the way and learn together. Um, and when I say learn together, that's not again, coding. It is really holistic. It's a 360 approach where we say, okay, if I care about feature XYZ, I want to understand it. I want to be the point of contact if anybody has questions or input for that. I want to make sure that bugs are being fixed, but also that, that new, new ideas and features are added. I want to see what the industry does. I want to be creative myself, et cetera, et cetera. And of course, I want to help users using it successful, uh, successfully. So to have maybe good documentation or a good user interface or um, good knowledge base articles and tutorials and even good marketing for it. So help the Mordic product marketing to understand the value of those new features that we are coming up with here. Um, yeah, then at the same time, this makes it so easy to get started. Um, at, at least uh, alone in the, at this Mordic conference, I have heard it f like, like five or six times. Uh, I am willing to contribute, but I don't know where to start it. I'm sitting there and I really don't know. And um, that's a, really typical situation. This Tiger Team approach makes it so easy to get started by just picking a narrow thing and um, say, let's, uh, uh, let's say, oh, I care about reporting in Mordic and I want to, uh, don't look left and right, but I want to make reporting better. I don't have to do too much. I don't have to spend too much time. It's not a huge responsibility and still I can make a huge difference. And even if I'm not, native English speaker, it's uh, perfectly possible to be part of this team. One thing has to be said, this is not an initiative with, with a certain goal that is to be reached in, in a year or so, then it's over. This is on an ongoing basis. That doesn't mean you have to be part of the team forever, but the, P, the team, the target team is there to stay and is supposed to deliver a constant flow of improvements or firework of ideas or whatever. Um, yeah, what are target team examples? These are the target teams that we have defined by, by today. Uh, here at the conference, we are pitching four of them, the yellow ones, and um, we are already now at number four. We did have campaigns and web books, we did, have, we did have user interface, we did have email, and now we're looking at focus items and dynamic web content. Every 
uh, target team has its own Slack channel and we get back to that in a second. Um, if you are listening to this or watching this, uh, it's there's a good chance that you have some thoughts about this thing. You, maybe you want to be part of the team, but maybe you only have some input, some questions, some issues, uh, some ideas. Please capture them all and um, give them to us. And uh, that can be either in the chat right here in Wirtli, um or in the live, live meeting that we'll do right after this uh, short pitch. Or if you're not able to do that, or if you're looking at a recording on YouTube, uh, you can always go to tt hyphen focus underscore no uh, focus hyphen items underscore dwc so that's the name of of the slack channel you'll find it easy enough to just start the tt um and you'll see it in a second anyway so do feed us all your thoughts and um ideally in the live meeting after this pitch to go there please enter the networking area in invertly hit enter to really enter it and then you can see me sitting at uh, yeah, being there uh, because I don't have a co-host here. We're not opening a table. You can just uh, start a conversation with me. And if somebody did that already, then you can join that conversation. And we're happy to have you. Okay. Then um, let's move on to the little video that I prepared for you. Here we go. My name is Eki, and I am among the Tiger team that cares about focus items and about dynamic web content. Why I, why I picked this topic for myself is pretty easy to explain. It's part of the visual objects like, like email, for instance, one of the few. And uh, to make that really powerful and shiny helps Mautic shine. And also I think it's one of the underutilized parts in the industry um, to work smartly with, with anonymous users uh, to turn them into leads or, or buyers or to work smartly with known users on the website. So there's a lot of potential and that means a lot of potential for Mautic to become an industry leader and that's really where we want to be uh, across the board. Um, yeah, so let me give you a couple of examples of what those improvements could be. Uh, we could start with uh, sort of responsive behavior to say, okay, here's a beautiful focus item for desktops and on the mobile phone, I want a completely different flavor with a bar so that Google will like it. There are ways to achieve that, but it's it's pretty hardcore. Um, so it's, it could be much easier and let's, let's go for that. Or statistics and even A-B testing and, and reporting or still for focus items. Why, why not deliver them without a cookie optionally? So if somebody did not hit the button in the consent manager, right now we can't deliver a focus item, but that doesn't have to, have to be that way. So make it uh, visible to everybody. And of course, uh, to create really stunningly beautiful focus items in an easy to use way, uh, that would be a dream, wouldn't it? On the other hand, dynamic web content, if you have played with that, it is uh, nice, but uh, there are always ideas for more and uh, to come up with ideas uh, what users really want and to make that uh, happen. Um, if you look at the forums, you, you run across it again and again. And I think there's also room for improvement a lot. And also on an ongoing basis, we're not looking we're talking about a one-time project, huge, and, crazy, but, but uh, to get better every single release, ideally. So um, what that takes is, like with all other type teams, uh, a sort of full circle approach. People from all um, disciplines, like, like, of course, we do need a developer or two, but we also need somebody that un understands the users or the strategists needs, and we may even have a designer on board, that'd be great. Um, so a cross-functional team is one thing, and of course the, the tasks at hand are also cross-functional. It's not only deliver any features, but it's also about thinking about the best features, coming up with ob observations and ideas, observing the industry, uh, communicating with users all the time, uh, understanding their needs and issues and struggles, and even 
take care of bugs and uh, documentation and uh, help marketing the features and all that. So it's it, again, it's, it's a full picture. It's a 360 approach and uh, everybody's welcome, especially if you're new to the topic, if you have heard or if you played with, with focus items and dynamic web content. Um, it's an easy start because it's such a narrow scope. Uh, so we do not need existing experts necessarily. We need people who are willing and able to dive into this specific feature and make it much better on an ongoing basis. So if you want to join me on that uh, journey, um, if you're watching this live, the best place right now is to go to the networking area. My name is Aki, E W K E. Uh, we'll have a table there, you'll find me, and please join the conversation there. Bring your ideas uh, for features or whatever you have in terms of requests to the things, but also come to the table if you consider joining this team um, or if you have any other sort of input. Again, it's completely non-binding, of course. If you are not sure, if you want to figure out which target team is best for you, uh, just come join, join the conversation and um, we'll go from there. If you're watching this as a recording, you missed the show, <laughs> you missed the networking part, but you can always go to the Slack channel for target team, TT, Dyn uh, focus item and DWC for dynamic web content. Thank you very much for now and I'll talk to you in two minutes in the networking area. Ciao.